Hello. We'd like to welcome you back to Conversations with an Artist. We're here at the Wichita Falls Art Association Gallery, downtown Wichita Falls on 8th and Ohio. Today, we are with a new person to Wichita Falls, William Beans McKinney. Now, I'm gonna let him tell you something about himself since nobody knows who he is. Hi there, everyone. I'm William Beans McKinney. Um, I'm new to Wichita Falls, but I'm coming from California. I'm originally from West Virginia, Morgantown. Let's go Mountaineers. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, so I graduated from West Virginia University with my BFA and then went on to the University of Mississippi and got my master's degree there. I've also studied in China a little bit too. So um, that's just a little a bit. A little bit? Yeah, I studied there for a semester. Yeah. Yeah, with master ceramic artists. No, we're there. They're really masters. Yeah. As you can see, we'll talk about this in a minute. He does ceramics. Yep. But first, what led you to become an artist and to get into clay? Uh, kind of failure. I was actually supposed to go uh, be a lacrosse player in college, and that fell through. So then I decided to study art instead, kind of following my passion. Um, and, you know, I kind of stuck with it, and it, it, it took me across the world, and it's been something that has been very powerful in my life. So that's how I got into art, really. That's a story. Yeah. I've never even met a lacrosse player. No. Uh, okay, so you do clay. Mm -hmm. Where do you get your inspiration? A lot of my inspiration comes from like the natural world. So um, being from West Virginia, I was exposed to a lot of beauty with rocks and geology, but also saw a lot of degradation in the environment um, from man's manipulation of the environment. So coal mining and fracking. The fossil fuel industry left a lot of the land kind of uh, destroyed, but I also found a lot of beauty in that contrast between the geological side and the flora and the fauna, and then also having this kind of destruction. So that contrast really kind of inspires me. But I also look at uh, art history, um, a lot of abstract expressionistic work. Um, so, yeah. Now, Beans is a, a boon to my heart because he fires, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, salt and wood, which is what I like to do, the salt. But as he's talking about nature, I'm looking at this right here. This is a pipe. It's not a pipe. It looks like a pipe, but it's got little rungs. Uh, organic and a pipe. Uh, so, okay, so tell him a little bit about wood and salt. Yeah, so I was out in California before I moved to Wichita Falls, and I was at a residency called Cobb Mountain Art and Ecology Project. Uh, and I was there for three years, um, and there we're kind of specifying in wood firing. So there we were throwing wood into a kiln to kind of produce our wares, um, and it would be a very consistent 24-7 uh, for up to eight days of firing uh, to get the results like uh, this in this teapot here. Is there any glaze on this? Um, no, there's actually slip, which gives it that orange color, but a lot of the kind of texture and the dynamic kind of qualities in the surface come from the wood ash in the kiln. Yes. Yeah. Different from what you're used to, but salt and wood, what he does, mm -hmm. that is formed without glaze. Yep. Unique process. Yep. Uh, you can see him out at Midwestern. Yep. They don't even know what Art Walk is, except we've told it to him. He's married to uh, Adriana, yep. if you, you've seen before. We're so glad they're here. They're getting involved in our community. He's an excellent teacher. He works well with kids. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you just have to hear that story and ask him. Uh, so we welcome Beans to our community, and we welcome you all to talk to them, come down and see us, and have a great day.